Started already? I'm getting there. <laughs> no, it's showing me that it's. There we go. <laughs> we're, we're on the screen. Are we on? Oh, hey, geez. guys. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Mixin' Vixens. My name is Emily, also known as Mill Nikon. Let's say hello to the other Vixens. First off, we've got JJ, aka Jennifer Jarvis, aka The Flavor Pro. Good evening. Good evening. And then we've got the lovely Rin Vapes. How are you? Hi. And we've got Jen the EG's fairy, Miss Winstead. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. How are, is everyone else doing? Doing really good. Got a lot done this weekend. Um, just, just regular around the house stuff, but I mean, not getting it done. Wanting to do it is one thing, and actually getting it done is a totally different story, and I actually got it done. That's awesome. You know what? There's nothing more satisfying to me than crossing off things on my list. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now I have a bigger disaster because my, my flavors are all out of whack, but I decided this week and I was going to stay out of here until I was done with everything else. So usually yes. my hiding spot, you know, I just come in yeah. and hide from, from the world, but this weekend I was like, I'm going to get my stuff done. And oh, that's good for you. That's awesome. Rin, how was your weekend? Um, sore. I had to go to the dentist. I've been having those jaw issues, but hopefully it'll be resolved soon. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. But the good thing is, is I actually didn't feel any pain for the first time ever getting, because I had to get my fillings redone, because my grinding has actually worn them through, I guess. Um. And I always feel some kind of pain, whether it be the needle and or the drilling. But this mm -hmm. place, I didn't feel any. Well, I mean, I felt stuff, but it wasn't pain. That's good. You just felt the pressure. Yeah. That's and the grinding, the drilling, you know. Yeah. Ugh. That sounds like fun. But that just means that they got you right on the nerve. Yeah. JJ, wow. how was your weekend? I don't think she can hear us. I'm trying to find my screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm typing. It, I'm typing in chat, and uh, I'm like, "Oh no, I got to get back to OBS and unmute." Um, my weekend was okay. I've been uh, dealing with an arm injury because somebody decided a flying karate kick was the fun thing to do into my arm. <laughs> I hope oh, yeah. it was William and not Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, was, it was William. <laughs> I think it was Mark. Um, it, it, he would have broken, definitely broken my arm if he, he kicked me. But no, I've got like a massive lump here, and it's just I, I I'm kind of like, could is it broken? Is it maybe fractured? I don't know. I can move it, but I can't move like pick stuff up. I can't push. I can't like get myself out of the chair. <laughs> Could you maybe go to the doctor? Well, it it's lessening in pain, so maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. Just it's fine. fine. She's <laughs> like one of the, she's like a man. She's only going if she absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if there was a bone sticking out, I would have gone. But <laughs> you know, I can still move it. I'm I'm okay. Rub <laughs> some dirt on it. You're fine. Yeah. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> Robitussin <laughs> <laughs> Take some Robitussin Rub some dirt on it yep. <laughs> It'll be all good Benadryl is the cure all over here Oh god Just Take some Benadryl to calm your nerves You won't feel it <laughs> <laughs> Benadryl for her or for William uh, <laughs> I would say both or William. <laughs> Robo Jen returns. Robo Jen's <laughs> returned. Yeah, Robo Jen. No. That was fun. 
So uh, the I really enjoyed the the mix, the profile picture for this week. Did you guys did you guys like it? I was yes. afraid of it. Afraid of it? Yeah, because I don't I don't do desserts well for the most part, especially donuts. But I was pleasantly surprised. Awesome. And it's almost yeah. verified. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, there are a lot of layers. I don't know, JJ, if you want to show the picture. And, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a lot going on. You know, you've got the shell, and you've got the cream, and you've got the fruit. And most times, one flavor for each layer just won't cut it. You have to, you know, add extra flavors to to, to layer the, the different notes, you know, so. Yeah, I cheated, so I'm excited to show that. So that you I will cheated. Mind yes, I kind of sort of cheated. It's not really cheating because we use stuff like that and other stuff. But well, if you cheated, so did I. Oh god! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know what you did. <laughs> I think we both had the same thought when we saw the picture. I was like, "Yep, I know what I'm using." <laughs> yep. Did you guys use Joker. We did. I did. Ah, <laughs> I thought, you know, it's funny because I totally thought about using that. I'm like, well, Joker is good. I'm like, no, like, I'll build it myself. I'll use egg roll because it's, you know. I was like, oh, If well. I had Hankson's egg roll, I would have used that because that looks more like an egg roll wonton to me than it does a pastry, like yeah. puff pastry. So I would have used that, but I didn't have it. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't ordered that yet. Yeah, really, you need it in your life. It's not not that I can vape it, you know. And it's it's health cabinet egg roll, but yeah, you need yeah. that. In your life. Yep. Didn't they get rid of that or reformulate it or something? No, don't say that. I'm. I think I heard something about health cabin like doing some revamping. Yeah, but not to egg roll. I don't think. Oh Hopefully come not. on, Emily! You know they're revamping. They're they're gonna hurt your feelings too. <laughs> You're not no. immune. Uh, might just have to order Leilani egg roll from checked, Duome. I think I think Leilani checked it out and she told me that egg roll was not one of them affected. Mm. Okay. But now I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully you have a big enough bottle you don't need much more. I don't. I only have a 10 mil. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna I need the thing is vapor supply doesn't ship to Canada. So like well, I need to figure out you, something. You can always, order I can always order you some and send them up with your drip tips when I finally get those out of the house. Oh, that would be awesome. So, that would we, be cool. we can figure that out. Cool. We had quite a few people play along also this week. Yeah. It yeah, it was a fun week. We had like four, three or four people play along. So That's awesome. It's I even saw one drop in, the, in our um, Discord. Yeah. Yeah a lot of activity in the discord that was really awesome <laughs> everybody knows that we can get drop-ins on the discord as well absolutely yep for sure if you don't have facebook or you don't like using facebook go to our discord um and you know put it in there and we'll we'll get it um at some point we might want to set up a mewe too what's a mewe uh, well i've signed up for an account on there a few of the vaping groups have gone over there already it's a new social media site hmm. um, so it, something I, I have heard there. of it and i know i i heard it in a in a vape channel recently that you know the talk of the town was me we and then it poof stopped being the talk you know yeah it's ah. it's not for the us old folks for the most part <laughs> i think that's what it is <laughs> Or maybe now all the old folks are getting on there and we're just polluting it with our oldness and all the youngins have left and gone to something new. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so does it does it act like Facebook kind of? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like an older version of Facebook. Okay. Probably like, yeah. um, you remember MySpace? It, yes. It's, it's, it's got a better interface than that. It's not <laughs> it's not quite as bad. Joel just said he doesn't like the internet. Can he mail me letters? <laughs> mail us letters? No. We don't have a P.O. Sure. box yet. <laughs> and sure, you can mail it. it. The letter's in the mail. Just like the checks. Only if you use fancy calligraphy or something. Make a pretty letter. <laughs> and send candy. 
Yes. <laughs> Might as well send some flavors while you're at it. <laughs> Oh gosh. I don't think any of us really need more flavor. No. I don't know. I always seem to find something I need. Like right now I need more Etsy mango in my life. Hmm. Well get Effie mango. It's the same thing. Don't you have same thing, yeah, but I, I want I, I mean I go through they only everybody's only selling what, ten mils? Oh so, yeah. I mean you can't the get big, any bigger I, Bull City? No, I couldn't oh, find no. it any bigger than 10 mil at Bull City. Uh, I wonder if Isig Express has it in their Flavor Express line under the wholesale part. I, I have to look. I have I to look. Know, because right, I mean, I'm one of the mango mixes I make for myself that I like to vape has, um, I think it's 3.5% <laughs> SC mango. Wow, yeah. You could always just drive over there and, you know. You know, selling you some. I actually sent an email and said, hey, how exactly can I get uh, a bigger bottle? bottle? <laughs> and I'll, wait, I'll wait for my email back and see. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I know I don't have a wholesale account, but can I? <laughs> like, well, I'm just going to show up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say no to you to your face to show up. I'm here for all your mango. You know what? That's a great idea. I think next Saturday I'm thinking a road trip if he doesn't email me back. We'll I've, go. <laughs> I've come for a liter of mango. I'm not yeah, leaving till I get it. I just want a 120. You leave empty handed, so, you know. I just want a 120. That's all. <laughs> it's something that'll last me at least three or four months. Yeah. Because at 4%, that's, or close to 4%, that's a lot. Yeah, I think I just ordered like a, a few 10 mil bottles because I remember that you could only get them in 10 mil. So I just ordered like like two or three of them. I ordered three of them. They're gone. I ordered <laughs> three of them in May. But it's not just me. My, um, my brother-in-law likes mangoes as well. So make him a mango peach. And I have to have that mango. I mean, I use FA, and, but he can tell. All right, well, let's uh, let's start uh, talking about our recipes. Yeah, who, who, who wants to go first? Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll go first since I haven't gone first in a while. So uh, mine's just Mill Nikon's BB cannoli. It went with blueberry, and um, so for the blueberry, I used two flavors for the that blueberry layer. I did flavor with blueberry because I mean it's just the best. But then to kind of give it a little more dimension, kind of make it pop a little bit more, I did half a percent of Vape Train Bilberry Ripe. If you guys haven't tried Bilberry Ripe, it is a really good blueberry. It's um, like kind of jammy, but yet it's kind of bright. It's dark and sweet, but it's not, don't be afraid by the name Bilberry because it's not, um, earthy like fa bilberry is it's just dark and sweet and jammy and it just kind of adds to the whole blueberry filling like i didn't want real blueberries i wanted like a blueberry filling in the cannoli and then um for the cream cheese i did a mixture of three percent anywhere yes sweet cheesecake because that that so far i think is my favorite cheesecake flavor and then I did 2% one-on-one -on -one vanilla custard cheesecake because this, okay, one-on-one -on -one vanilla. On, this is, uh, sorry, I've got the wrong picture up. <laughs> oh, one-on-one -on -one vanilla custard cheesecake, if you guys haven't had it, it tastes really similar to how LA cream cheese icing smells. So it's a little bit more like frosting-ish. It's sweeter. It's more so like, because a cannoli, the cream cheese in like a cannoli isn't like, just cream cheese or like a cheesecake it's kind of sweeter and has kind of has a little bit of a icing type feel to it and so i use that and then for the outside none other than one percent of health cabin egg roll and it's really good i've been vaping it the last like three days just non-stop i think it's delicious well that's just fine and dandy you think you've been vaping in a couple days. Well, I like mine so much, I made a 60 mil. So 
Nice. Um, I really have never used the health cab and egg roll. So um, it's got like, um, it's like a thin kind of crispy fried texture. It's got a really good fried note. And then it also has like that powdered sugar element. Because I had seen some people use 101 powdered sugar for this, but I think egg roll kind of has enough of that in it that I didn't add another flavor. I didn't want to keep adding more flavors and make it verified. You know me, I like to keep things simple and uh, as little ingredients as I can. But egg rolls, is, it's really good. Like it's, you can almost feel the flakiness, like the, the crispiness. Got it. I, I, I have to, I, I've never used it and I don't know that I have it, but I could, it could just possibly not be in my written down stuff that I have. Yeah, um, but I'll look. I'll look. You have to hunt for it because it's delicious. Well, yeah. I know which ones that have the stuff I don't have in there. It's in this box. And Joker so is is there. similar, but I don't think Joker is as like crispy as egg roll. You know what I mean? Like it's it's got the kind of a, a very similar flavor, but it doesn't quite nail that texture that egg roll does. Got it. So that's funny you should say that. Maybe we should do mine next. Sure. Because you talked about Joker and we already revealed that I cheated with that one. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let me pull mine up. So I decided to pull an Emily this week. You know, Emily was trying not to ver verify and I was trying to simplify. Awesome. So a super simple recipe with only I only did five ingredients nice but I used um wait where is it I used the the joker from fa for my um cannoli part and then I used um Boy, I used the uh, Joker, Joker and King from FA because King is like um, black currant to me. So the berries are more like black currant, but I wanted the berries to be more blue. So I used a little bit of Flavora boysenberry in there with it. Sorry, my dogs do this every time we're on. Every time somebody comes over. Hold on. Hush. Let me let my dog out. <laughs> Dog sounds clearer than she does. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so I used boysenberry from Flavora at 0.1 percent. I didn't want to use a whole lot for the berry note. I used LA cream cheese icing because, like you said earlier, there's a cream note in the in a cannoli that is more like a frosting. But mm -hmm. I only used 0.25 percent because if you go too high on that, it gets kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, and then I used um, Wonder Flavors Cannoli Shell um, Super Concentrate at 1.25 to boost the buttery notes because I don't find that the uh, Joker has enough of a butter note in it. Mm. You know, it's like it's missing that part. It, it boosts up a little bit of the flakiness in there as well. But I think that that Joker is pretty much flaky enough. And that's it. So I use Joker, King, cream cheese icing, cannoli, and boysenberry. Um, is King, I've never had King. Is it like a hard candy? It, to me, it's more like a gummy. Like a, okay, uh, perfect. Like to a me, it's like gummy. Red part of a white and red gummy worm. Okay. It's really good. Nice. I think I need to get that. Um, you know, I like that you use cannoli shell in here. Um, I don't use that much, but like it has a really good texture and flavor as well. But it to me, it's got like an anise note to it. But I think with like the boysenberry and the king, it would blend in better, right? Well, not just that with the black currant as well. So yeah. 
that little bit of a niece note. Also, to me, the Joker is a little bit dry and, and it's got such a slight anise note that you would have to pretty much vape it by itself or without another bakery to be able to taste it. But I, it's higher. On and that's the all I've done with cannoli shell is I've only single flavor tested it. Yeah, so it falls back, especially okay. if you're hearing it with another bakery and I'm using it at 1.25% compared to 3% of the Joker and Joker's pretty strong at 3%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This looks really good. I, I was going to call it easy cannoli and then I was like, eh, I'll just call it yummy cannoli. Because, you know, I'm creative and all that good stuff. Everyone's shocked that you didn't, that you used a reasonable amount of flavors. <laughs> I used more than she did. I did too. That's awesome. <laughs> it works. It works. I'm vaping it. Well, I used two one shots. How can I yeah, not? Exactly. exactly. I mean, I already, I already cheated. You know what I mean? To, yeah. to not go verified, I put two one shots together. So, I, I, I used the same two one shots, but I still put more in mine. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, let's go to yours next then, JJ. All right. Let's see here. Mine, I kind of went the same direction she did, but I didn't have the cannoli shell. So I kind of built it a little bit. I used the the Joker as the base. And I used it, I think, get the same amount as you did. Let's see here. Uh, Joker, yeah, I used it at 3%. I used King at 2%. I used it at a little bit lower. Um, but and, I, and, I'll be, and I'll be honest, I was thinking that maybe King should have been a little bit lower. But it was already mixed and it's delicious anyway, so I'll just bake it. Well, it, it, it's it's because I only used mine, I think, a little bit less because I added other stuff. So I put croissant um, from Wonder Flavors in with the Joker. I didn't use very much, just 0.35%, um, just to add more butter. But then mm -hmm. I also put in uh, Vape Train Sugar Cane to give it more of a crispy kind of oh. crunchy sugar note. So Because okay. I didn't have egg roll. If I had had egg roll, I would have used that. <laughs> <laughs> instead but I wanted that kind of crispiness to the outside but it also should be sweet because it's a sweet pastry kind of thing uh, and then I put in for my cream layer I used real flavors blue moon ice cream because it's like a blueberry cream and I wanted a blue note not specifically black currant not specifically blueberry um, or even blackberry just something just a whole bunch of blue <laughs> mixed together <laughs> And I put in a little bit of Flavora's cream che uh, brie cheese at 0.35% with the 1% Blue Moon ice cream kind of gives it that cream layer. But then I also added in 1% Flavora frosting to really sweeten it all the way out. Plus it kind of gives a little illusion of powdered sugar on top. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and also Wonder Flavor's bumbleberry to round out the blue. I love that you used Wonder Flavors Bumbleberry. That's such a good flavor. And it's I like it because it's brighter, right? And so I I don't think I've ever had that Blue Moon ice cream, but I think that and King, but I think like the Bumbleberry would really do a good job of kind of bringing it more to the front. It, it's it's kind of like a black raspberry. I didn't. I was going to use Real Flavors Black Raspberry, but I think that got discontinued, so I didn't want to use that in this. And the bumbleberry is kind of like, it's not quite blackberry, it's not quite raspberry, it's somewhere in between, and it's kind of seedy. So it really gives more of that illusion of jam to the, the F.A. King. We almost had even closer of a recipe than we already have, because I almost used a croissant and chose against it <laughs> because I wanted sweetness from the cannoli. So, yeah, I, I almost you guys talk about adding butter, you know, and that that wonderful flavors croissant is super buttery. I've never used it that low before, so that's really interesting. I kind of treated it like FA butter. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit is all you need, and with that much Joker in there, you're you've already got the pastry base. You just it just needs a little more butter to it because it doesn't have sure. dap in it. So, being dap free, it needed to be dapped up. <laughs> Dap it up. 
And, and I honestly um, debated on using the king or using the jack. And uh, and I have to look back because all I know them, I, I forget the names of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which one's got what in it? Um, but I almost used jack. And then I went with the current because it was darker blue colored in there for me. Awesome. That's funny. And it's, I find it interesting that JJ used frosting, you know, and, and like both Jen and I also used something that was like frosting. like particularly. Because it's, it's supposed to be sweet. Yeah. I mean, I love cannolis myself. I mean, I almost used a little bit of almond in there as well. Cause sometimes I find they have an almond note in the actual bakery part, but then I was like, ah, it'll ruin it. I just want to keep it simple. So I went and JJ, JJ built her stuff around it and added the extra stuff. That's awesome. I think it's funny. And we got the wrong picture again, JJ. <laughs> she, she fixed it. <laughs> All right, Ren, you best, uh, least but not last, or last but not least. <laughs> what have you been smoking today, Emily? <laughs> last but not least is Ren. By the way, Ren, your eyes look beautiful. And no, her makeup, she's on fleek. Is that how you say it? Did I say it right? <laughs> you and Vapor Ross Vape said the exact same thing. And they're like, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Yes>. not hip. <laughs> anyway, um, so I mine's almost verified. To me, this is verified. This is my version of verified for sure. It's got Absolutely, stuff. yeah. Um, so the base of my cannoli, I've never had a cannoli, so I'm just going based upon what I think it is, which could be wrong. Um, I use the pola because it's the only donut pastry ish thing that I really like. Um, I originally tried the cannoli shell and it just did not work very well. So I just scrapped it. I was like, I ain't got time for this. So I used flavor arts of at 2%. And then I tried something, um, interesting it's from nick river called sugar crunch and supposedly it's supposed to add a crunchy note to pastries so i added that at one percent i thought it was something entirely different when i bought it but <laughs> whatever <laughs> then for like the creamy cheese cheese ish filling or whatever it is i used uh one percent capella new york cheesecake uh 1% vanilla custard by Flavora and 1% whipped cream by one on one just to make it like really creamy and rich and have a little bit of a vanilla note. And then I used for my berry, which this looks very small percentage wise, but blackberry is super strong by one or one on one. Uh, I had originally mixed it, I think at like one and a half percent or something crazy and it was terrible. Um, so I dropped it way down and trust me, you can still taste it in there. Um, what did I do? 0.15, cause even 0.25 was too much. Um, and then I added jammy berry by Flavora at a quarter of a percent because for some reason that flavor is pretty strong to me. And I wanted it to be more creamy than berry because I feel like the berry would get um, overpowering if it was too high and kind of take away from the outside and the cream part of it. Um, so I only did a quarter of a percent. That's it. Yeah, that one-on-one -on -one blackberry is about as strong as the wild cherry. I think it's stronger. Yeah, it's it goes really floral if you go too high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tasted like perfume at the 1.5 or whatever it was. It was terrible, but low, it, it seems to be much better. And I do like the cherry because I actually use it in that cherry limeade that I've been making. That jammy berry, I think that people set that aside too often because that is a really good flavor. I used it to boost a strawberry mix this week, so that was that was a really good make a really good flavor to add to this because it'll punch through the bakery notes for sure. Yeah, and I want it to be like sticky, like a not a glaze, but you know, like the inside of a pastry like that has berries or whatever in it like it's got like that syrup goo. <laughs> <laughs> goo it's filled with blue goo and white goo <laughs> and white goo <laughs> all really the goo 
little no. blue ball in the glue. I don't think I've ever had a real cannoli. I haven't oh, either. So good. They're delicious. They look like they would be right up my alley and I would love them. They are really good. It's a really good bakery. And there's different kinds, you know. There's They can make them all kinds of cannolis. They're yeah, all savory filled. and sweet. And... They can, they're all filled with something delicious in the middle, but they kind of crunch on the outside. Awesome. I you like your recipe. Thank you. That do. Thank <laughs> you for being the most flavorings, Ren. No, did you? <laughs> I know. I, I think I had eight. You did? Yeah. JJ wins. JJ two one shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I thought it was Rin that was gonna win. And I was gonna say me and Rin switch seats this week. I'm surprised that uh, that Jen and I actually tied for least flavors. Yes. Yay. Maybe I need to turn this one in. Or do you think the judges will think it's cheating? No, I don't think they'll think it's cheap. I don't one think shot. they care. As long as it tastes good, I don't Yeah, think they, don't, they don't care. They, they're not, they don't take this that serious, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. As long as they show up, that's all we ask. <laughs> yeah. Well, I that's wait. pushing it sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially when, you, when I turn in something that has, what was it? passion fruit at what three or four <laughs> percent yeah <laughs> that that was special torture for dave i know yeah i was like oh dave's judging this month and all of mine suck let me throw some passion fruit in there for him <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a cannoli today nice chocolate chip that sounds good i actually made a recipe with that cool cool with the wonder flavors it turned out okay but this one, it was not, I, I did, I did even worse. I think I did like nine ingredients, but that one did not pan out. Okay. So JJ's got the first uh, viewer recipe pulled up. So I guess we'll start with I am Sam. So he's the one who, um, he submitted it via the, uh, discord. Um, and is this, hold on. Is this the one I think this is the one who said he's dedicating it to Miss Winstead? <laughs> Someone's got a fan. That MILF over there. <laughs> I don't so think so. It is a deep fried cheesecake and dark berry jam filled cannoli. This is dedicated to Miss Winstead. V2 adds yes with cheesecake and boysenberry. As well as I removed Force Mix and Oba Oba. Oba Oba made it the jam too bright, and Force Mix added the mix just felt too much. So he uses 0.55% uh, Flavora Boysenberry, 2.55% Wonder Flavors Cannoli Shell, 1.55% Wonder Flavors Deep Fried Pastry Dough, 1.6% Capella Harvest Berry. 0.95% Flavora Jammy Berry, 3.03% Capella New York Cheesecake, 0.48% Flavor West Sweetener, 2.02% Indoor Yes Sweet Cheesecake. What's with all these weird percentages, Sam? <laughs> Always on that Lumi, Lumi numbers. <laughs> they're so they're all crazy. I think I know why he dedicated it to me because he knew that it had like a million flavors in it. So he was like, "Oh, this one's for her. She'll understand." <laughs> has nothing to do with uh, 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 Miss Winstead crush. It has to do with I'm gonna verify this. I said a fan, not a crush. You said that. <laughs> I said Mill. Well, I think that was you. That was that was a different person, but that's common knowledge. I know, right? <laughs> Jen is a mill. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I'm right. Glasses on now. <laughs> You're getting embarrassed. That's hilarious. It's First, it. oh my god, you guys did it! You're gonna make Jen. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, the next one. 
is by uh, Ryan Wagon Shoots. His name is uh, Red Wagon on EL. And he uses 5% VSO blueberry, 1% HC egg roll, yeah, 1.5% <laughs> Capella New York cheesecake, 1.5% one-on-one powdered sugar, and oh, 2% Vaytrain sweet cream. I totally was going to use this flavor, but I didn't think of it until after I'd already done a few versions, and I... And I really picked one that I really liked a lot. And I didn't want to mess with it. You know, like you, you find something that works and that you like and you're like afraid to just because you mess with it a little bit and it can just fall apart. And I didn't want to do that. But sweet cream is such a good idea. A lot of people use that New York cheesecake. Mm -hmm. You know, and I tried a version with... Capella's New York cheesecake is a little bit too um, sour tasting for me. So I tried a version with Purilla New York cheesecake, which to me is really good. Like it's a lot like Capella New York cheesecake, but a little bit less like sour and tart. So I really like it, but it kind a of- A little less cheesy is what you're saying. Yeah, but it, it drowned out, drowned it drowned out like the other, like the egg roll and the blueberry a little bit. So that's why I went with Indoware Yes Sweet Cheesecake. But um, it's a really good flavor. Yeah, the Purelum is good, but it is a little heavier on the crust note to me than the mm -hmm. Capella. So that's why I use that one. Because yeah. I don't get much crust out of Capella. And then you just bury it and drown it in cream. And then it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you bury it and drown it in cream and then yeah. fun. that's what you do to things that are sour like you can do yogurt just like throw a bunch of cream in it just smooths it out a little bit takes away the you know a little bite I'll yeah. try that I just, I just don't use it like unless there's a lot of ingredients in something like stronger flavors then I love, I love it I love the cheesy part of it. You know what yes. I mean? I like that it's it's got like, more of a it's got a little too much tang for me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the the next uh, viewer submission we have is from Loop Loops. On all the flavors, his name is uh, Weighty Loops, and his is just called Cannoli, and he uses uh, two and a half percent Purellum boysenberry preserves. One and a half percent vape train cream brulee, two percent HC egg roll, one and a half percent FA Pazzo, or Joker, sorry, um, <laughs> 0.25% King, one and a half percent vape train vanilla cream, nice, one percent one on one vanilla custard cheesecake. This is like a combination of like both of yours. Yeah. yeah. Day. this looks yeah. really good that just goes to show that that king and that joker really go well together they just go well together i'm gonna have to try it yeah this looks good that vape train vanilla cream is underrated i haven't used it very much but it's a really good good vanilla mm -hmm. i like it it's like the buttercream just not as buttery yeah yeah it's real it's rich and dense and creamy that would have been when I was looking for my vanilla note. I think that was one of the ones I, I looked at, and then I was like, Ah, I haven't used it in, enough to know what percentage is going to drown out my cannoli or be too much. So I chose against it. But I mean, it does smell really good. It is good. So, the last but not least of the viewer submissions is actually Daytime Frank. And he, he decided to go with uh, cherry as the fruit in it. And he says, HC egg roll makes for a great shell in this mix. The panna cotta is dominated for the first week or so and then settles in. After five days, the cherry isn't quite present. So he uses 1% uh, LA cream cheese icing, 1% health cabin egg roll, 4.5% mullenberry panna cotta, 1% uh, one-on-one -on -one powdered sugar and one and a half percent mullenberry red cherry. 
So that, you know, that panna cotta, I think would be really good in a mix like this. Have any of you guys tried that one? Like five years ago. That one, but I <laughs> haven't used really it. Good. It's I, got I have a bottle. It's got a weird back note to me. Like I wasn't that crazy about it. Yeah, I really like it. It's got like a nice kind of tart, cheesy, kind of a sour note. That it's, it's probably the sour note. I don't like yogurt in vapes. Yeah. <laughs> You just said you didn't like tart, and now you like it. <laughs> I, okay, I do. I just don't like it in Capella's New York Cheesecake. It just oh, right. just seems off in Capella's New York Cheesecake. But in Panna Cotta, I like it that it's a little bit tart and sour. So it's the wrong type of tart. I guess. <laughs> I'm See, just like that, that, that in New York Cheesecake from Capella, what it is is a sharper cheese note. So maybe that's not the same thing that's in Panna Cotta? They didn't know it is, though. I'm just weird. <laughs> Maybe it's the other stuff that's in panna cotta that you like better. It could be. Maybe it just blends better or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, has anyone tried that Mullenberry Red Cherry? Yeah, it's it's a decent cherry. Yeah, I tried it as well. It is pretty decent. I tried it too high. But once I diluted it down, like I had to take, I tried it, I think, at 3%. I had to use it at 1.5%. So I just, I started out with a 30 mil, ended up with a 60 mil, but it was just VG, it, you know, it was a tester. Um, and, and then I could vape it. And now I can use that 60 mil and makes other stuff into it. And cause I mean, I don't want to waste it. We'll put a tobacco in there. <laughs> no, nah, nah. I'm not, I'm not big on the fruity tobaccos. If I use fruit in tobaccos, I like oranges and limes and lemons. Something that punches through it. Throw, throw some king into it. You think? Yeah, king goes well with cherry. Okay. I'll try it. Because I've tried king with queen. And that actually tasted good together, too. Okay. Sounds good. I haven't, I've never mixed king and queen together. I threw menthol in it too. It was delicious. Interesting. I have to try that because obviously I need to figure out what, and that's pretty much what I did because I have all of these and I barely ever use them because I don't use them in mixes and I use them, you know, for pods sometimes, but I need to figure out what I can use them in recipes now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because they, they work well for just throwing whatever's actually in those into a mix. It's, it saves you a bunch of <laughs> extra flavors. Yeah. Like, this doesn't look verified, but it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm sure that Joker is pretty verified, and so is the king. And um, then you go ahead and add some more stuff to it. This probably, if I had to take my guess, at minimum, the king has five ingredients, the joker has five, so that's ten, and then my other four, so I'm at fourteen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm being really generous at saying five, because it's probably more like seven or eight each. So we secretly verified our recipes. <laughs> 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 Let's see. So what else do we got, ladies? What do we got going on in chat? Any any funny stuff? Anybody talking? I, I can actually look at chat now. Oh Adam's God. just being awesome, and uh, he put all the the recipes you were talking about in chat. Oh, and, cool. Yeah, so we appreciate the help there, Addy. And um, he put on uh, Regulator Watch, um, Australian Tobacco Harm Reduction. National Suicide Line. He's so helpful putting all the all the different links that people might need, might not need, that would like to check out. You know what I mean? Um, Michael Morris wants to know who makes a sugar crunch. I answered forever ago. It's Nick River. Okay, got it. Have you tr have you single flavor tested that? Yeah, I thought it was like supposed to be like a granulated sugar or something like that. It, I didn't like it. <laughs> It's like this tastes nothing like it wasn't bad it just i mean it's a additive it's not really meant to be you know by itself 
it adds um according to them a breadiness and or like a crunch like for like a churro or something like that so that's why i figured this might work for the cannoli because yeah. zapola i don't think is probably that crunchy but it yeah, has the nice and... yeah it has like the nice like sugariness almost powderiness that i wanted and like the good pastry note that i wanted plus for me i don't need to steep that forever um so i don't like steeping these days i ain't got time for that <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I, and and that's another thing about my recipe it was ready on day one i still put three days on the on um all the flavors just because it gets better but I mean, it was ready on right off the shake. Yeah, same with mine. Mine was re pretty decent, like right off the shake. But just after a, like five days, it just they just come together and the flavors kind of bloom a little bit better, and it tastes better. So, but if you want to, you can um, shake it right away or By it. the way, I did that crazy thing that I sometimes do. I actually took my vanilla cream flavoring and added it to the corner of my cotton, just to see what it would have done in the recipe. It's really good. <laughs> probably 10 percent in here now because it's one drop to the cotton uh so as you guys can see on the screen thanks jj is next week's profile it's a maple bacon bar um i have no idea how i'm gonna do that because i have no bacon flavors they don't really sell bacon flavors anymore I, heard I think the ones still that... have an old one in a glass cram for stuff. I, 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 I think that mine's going to be sans bacon. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have to be without the bacon. Sorry, whoever posted this. Is it Mike that posted this picture? I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, so... I mean, it could be caramel, uh, toffee... Yeah, I could add a toast to it. I can feel yeah. a black fire in there, a little bit of smokiness to it. <laughs> there yeah, you go. I'm doing no bacon. I ain't buying bacon, even if it is a thing. Not happening. Yeah, because yeah, I heard the ones that do are, do exist are just terrible. So they're disgusting. TFA's yeah. bacon is basically hickory smoke, like the stuff you put in food. Mm -hmm. That's really all it is. It's it's different from Blackfire, but it's along that same line. It's got a good amount of that that campfire well, kind of flavor. Yeah, that's what I'm essence. wondering. If we just add like a touch of something smoky, if it would be enough to, I don't know. The thing is, with the the good thing about maple bacon bars is you get the salty with the sweet, and you can't do salty in a vape. But mine's gonna have to be without the bacon. Unfortunately. I don't even know what these are. So <laughs> You've never had a maple bacon bar? No. Oh my goodness, JJ, you need to go and get one. Have you had a maple bacon donut? Well, I've had maple donuts. With bacon? I've never you had it with bacon. bacon. You need to try one with bacon. So Is okay. that all it is is basically a maple donut uh maple yes. glazed donut. It's maple glazed donut and yeah. then they put real bacon on top crunch crunchy crunchy bacon on the top of it and then they put some more glaze on it it's so good so good sinfully delicious so add some salt and the next time you have some uh maple bars then there you go yeah just add a little salt just, on just it. sprinkle a little bit of salt on it oh i'll just put bacon on it there you go <laughs> why not <laughs> not yep. that not that i eat donuts very often because i'm not a big donut fan like, I'll eat them every now and then. Yeah, I'm not a big donut fan either, but when they bring them to work, I'm going to have one. Even, no matter what diet I'm on. <laughs> yeah, it's free. <laughs> Hard to yeah, they can bring free. chocolate donuts or cream-filled donuts, and I'm not having that. <laughs> Keto Schmido, there's donuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we'll see you next week. Did we want to stop and thank our sponsors before we say goodbye? I think that's what the pause was for. So thank you for <laughs> to Bull City Flavors. You can check them out. They got the new Mullenberry flavors, and they have Vape Train and Wonder Flavors. They have a bunch of stuff. Easting Express, where you can get Art One Shots. 
signs right here, Waterberry Breeze. And then we have Jen's Custard, the other Jen's Breakfast Cereal, and Emily's Peach Cheesecake. Uh, thank you to <laughs> Flavora and all the flavors. And go check out DIY or Die on YouTube and their channel, their website. I think that's it. Did I miss anything? Oh, check out Jen. Are you having a show? Yeah, we will be on at 7.30 on Flavor Pro channel. Yay. It's about a half an hour. Yep. And then, Millie, don't you have one-shots in other places? I do. Um, I also have a Blackberry Milk at Easting Express. And we have, uh, JJ and I both have one-shots at Wizard Lab. Mine's a, mine's a butterscotch donut. And Jen's is, is it? Just vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla, okay. Vanilla and, yeah. and chefs. Chefs. Yeah, chefs. That's right. Although we're retiring one of those flavors. I'm pretty sure uh, mine is Captivation is being retired, so I'll probably be releasing that recipe. But the other, my Hazel Potamus is still staying up there. And yeah, I'm my, not... My uh, spring break is going to be retired, but my blueberry Catalana, it will be staying up there. Cool, cool. See, we got to show our stuff. And noted tomorrow is uh, grapefruit. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, Ooh yeah, I love that. <laughs> Have a great night, folks. Good night, guys. Bye.